Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review video on sugar cosmetics. Now for the longest time I have been wanting to try sugar liquid lipsticks but for some reason I just didn't feel like it because when I went through Nykaa and the sugar cosmetics website I realized that they do have amazing shades but all of them are generally towards the darker side like darker tones and bold colors like even I, I love bold colors but on a day to day basis I prefer uh, nude shades and I already have like ton of liquid lipsticks so I never ended up buying them but recently Sugar has launched uh, this uh, smudge me not liquid lipstick uh, while trying to and I thought you know this would be a great way for me to try out these products and not pay a huge amount like even though sugar is affordable but it's really difficult for me to you know get through a liquid lipstick completely so I thought uh, the best way for me to try these products would be to purchase the mini versions which would also be a great way to travel with those liquid lipstick so this is how it looks now this uh, particular kit retails for 6.99 rupees and i did uh, get some discount on it now one thing i wanted to bring to your notice is that the quantity of these is only 1.5 ml and when i saw them on the website i was like okay big deal i never realized that you know the liquid lipsticks that we will be getting are actually going to be so tiny now let me just open and show this to you as to how tiny they actually look now this is how it looks like this tiny is the lipstick now i absolutely freaked out when i saw this because i just couldn't believe my eyes that sugar cosmetics is actually packaging such tiny amounts of liquid lipsticks and retailing them for 700 bucks like i was just mind blown away in the sense that it's almost like paying a lot for the amount you're getting and i have tried mini and i have also tried the mini versions of various uh, lipsticks or liquid lipsticks if i have to say and say for example this is an estee lauder one which i got for free and this is how it looks and then this is a mac one okay and say the smashbox and Clinique. So these are the mini versions of lipsticks that I own and these all of these except for the MAC ones I have received it for free. Now one thing I wanted to point out is that you know the standard size of a lipstick is say 3.5 grams. The mini versions of major brands like the Little Mac or, or even say the Clinique one that I received or the Smashbox that one that I received for free were all around 2 grams. Uh, I think the MAC is around 1.8 grams and the Clinique one was around 2.3 grams and the Smashbox one was uh, 2.4 grams. Now the reason I am trying to explain this to you guys is that firstly I am very appalled at the fact that I am paying almost 700 bucks for just 1.5 ml of lipsticks that is just something i cannot fathom but anyway maybe it's my mistake as well but i feel that companies like sugar when they have a decent uh, name in the industry should try to give these 1.5 ml of lipstick for free when you purchase the full size of their lipsticks but uh, i guess that's how it is so yeah that was a huge rant let's leave that behind us and let's get to the swatches and the actual review and what i feel about these lipsticks now the lipstick that i'm wearing on my lips right now is in the shade y9 shine so when i made an order i got the kit as well as uh, this tiny uh, uh, mini sample of the y9 shine lipstick along with a sugar bag those were the things i got I absolutely love this color so if you want to see uh, how these lipsticks wear on my lips and uh, if you want to uh, see the swatches as well then please watch so the lipstick uh, I have on my lips right, right now is in the shade 19 shine now it is uh, a little drying I would recommend that you guys apply a lip balm underneath uh, the liquid lipstick 
this is definitely transfer proof and watch proof so it's not going anywhere and uh, prior to this i had applied it uh, one day for work and it stayed for the entire day and obviously when i had to remove it you do have to remove it with a uh, makeup remover otherwise it won't go off so those are the things that you may want to consider this is how wine and shine looks uh, in a swatch and it does dry out in a while the other four shades that i got are in the shade 40 41 42 and 25 now one more thing i didn't like about this packaging is that nowhere does it mention the names of the shades like wine and shine i knew because it came in a package like that but here there is no name of the shade written so, uh, i'm just going to pull out the email that i have and so the shades that i got are uh, fuchsia fantasia which is number 40 a uh, very mulberry in shade 25 then 42 is toast rose and 41 is gotta terracotta so i'm first going to be showing you all the swatches of how these swatch on my hands and then i'm going to be uh, showing your lip swatches as well these are the swatches of the liquid lipstick the first one is in the sh uh, is shade number 25 then is wine and shine then i have 40 41 and 42 they do have a very good range of lip shades i have to give that to them except that they they barely have any nude shades for all of us who love nude shades you're going to have a hard time trying to find them this is how shade 25 looks on my lips One thing I must say is I really like all the colors I got and uh, they are all very bold and I love them. This is how the shade 40 looks on my lips. I think it's a little similar to wine and shine but wine and shine is definitely more brighter and this is more subdued. This is how shade 41 looks on my lips. This is how shade 42 looks on my lips. To round this video up, is the kit worth 700 bucks? It's definitely not worth it in my opinion. Or uh, if you know the brand does still want to continue and go ahead uh, with this trial kit, I feel that they should at least uh, increase the amount of product that you're getting in terms of uh, the ml then in terms of how the lipsticks actually perform or uh, the cons being they are drying it does go on a little patchy and uh, you know it does get stuck in the crevices of your lips however all their lip shades are absolutely fantastic and i'm sure they are going to suit a lot of skin tones across the liquid lipsticks are definitely transfer proof and they don't budge and it will stay on your lips for more than 8 hours i hope this video was useful to you guys and if you did like this video please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you are updated every time i upload a video and i will see you guys in my next video bye